That was the moment. But in that moment, a light bulb went on. The light went on as I saw the darkness. Here's another jewel. Light and darkness walk hand in hand. If you're afraid of the darkness, you won't see your light. You need both. You need both. So with that, I started to investigate the other side of, I guess we all don't, we really don't want to heal. I guess there's, there's all kinds of little shenanigans going on in us. I guess there's a whole different, and as soon as I, you know, started to pursue and open myself questions and open myself up to deeper questions, more rich and engaging questions, richer questions about us, I received that kind of texturous material in, in readings, in intuitive readings. So it's a match. What, and, and, and the data that makes us tick, that makes us what we are, began to open up as well. We are far more complex than one answer, one cause, one solution. That does not work. Now you can live at that level, but the quality of your healing, the quality of your solutions, the quality of your problem resolving, the quality of your life will be one, one, one. That's it. That's the quality and that's how the laws of creation, that's how the laws will work for you. As I'll explain. That's how the whole system will work because you, you're plugged into the functioning of laws at the tribal level. So you'll work, they'll work, but at the speed of the tribe. Dense and within time. Within, you'll, you'll, you're, you're someone who creates by committee, including the speed at which your health will heal. You heal at the speed of committee. So if, if, if you're somebody who will have to take medicine in a jar and it says, take this, you'll be sick for, sick for six weeks, and so you shall. Because you operate at the speed of committee. And if it says there's a likelihood there's a 50, 60 percent chance that this will return. That's what you'll live at. And you'll be, there's a real good chance you'll be part of the return. Because you don't have enough energy to get into the individualness required to outrun the speed of the tribe. Are you with me here? And the types of choices that need to be made. Now having said that, there's also the dynamics of the third column, which is sometimes it's time to go. None of us is getting off the planet alive. We are living in bodies designed to self-destruct. So we can only do the best we can or not. But in any case, we will all eventually pop out. So we have minimal control, but the control we have can be maximized by how well you understand the consequences of the choices that you're making. So we, are in we, we have an impact on the quality of our life, the quality of our body, the quality of our health, the quality of what? Even though that does not mean that we have the capacity to make everything perfect. Perfect is not the goal. Balance in all things, no matter what's happening, whether we're in a storm. If you're in a storm, you want to be a balanced driver. If you're in the most difficult times, 
You want to know how to say, I need to alter my relationship with time. I need to start thinking hour by hour now and not week by week. If I think in terms of week by week in this crisis, I will crush myself. I need to alter my watch and go into vertical time where my goal is hour by hour because I can survive this hour by hour. I am just fine hour by hour. And so I'll walk at that speed. Time to adjust time. But if I think in terms of year by year, I will crush, be crushed. So now it's time to adjust time. And I will get through this. That's how we do this. Now, back to woundology. Once I saw this, the way in which we th think, what goes on behind our eye, began to become a more and more rich tapestry. And it was at that point that I started to see the role that our personal choices met, had in our life. That how significant our inner choices were versus our outer choices. These were two different worlds of choice and two different power zones. They had two different levels of creation two different levels of impact, two different levels of authority. The choices we make in this world are, tend to be blended with the social mind. They tend to be influenced a lot more by what's happening in the world and therefore, they tend to be um, part. They tend to be of the world. So, what's going on in the world filters into our body through these chakras. You, none of us stand alone. What is in one is in the whole. So let me let me put it this way: We now live in the era of terrorism. Can we agree on that? There was a time when we didn't live in the era of terrorism. We now live in an era where, do we need a break? Yeah. Did I, did I go on overtime? No, you're good. You, you, another 15, 20 minutes. Should we have a break now? Um, do we need a break? Yes. Yes. Coffee set up? Yeah, coffee set up. You saw him set up? Okay.